All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this tutorial, we're going to check out how to add sound to our animation. So pretty cool. And let's go ahead and do that right away. Now, if you haven't seen my last tutorial on how to render your animation, check that out because we're going to be using that in conjunction with that tutorial. Or you could go ahead and see this to add sound to your own animation. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is go over here and change it to Video Sequence Editor. Yes, Video Sequence Editor. All right, now hitting Shift A, go to Adding Image, and find where you saved your image is for your animation. Because once again, if you haven't, check out the other tutorial on how to render your animation. Uh, it's best to render your animation in image format, so we are now loading the images from our animation. Now these could be your own images from your animation or the tutorial like I said. Now we're going to click on use backdrop and now we can see the animation that we got right here. Cool. Now how do we add sound? Pretty simple. So first of all we're going to go to a website to get sound from and this website is called freesfx.co.uk and now this website is awesome. The sound effects are absolutely free, as the name implies. <laughs> if you had any doubt, don't worry, they're free. Um, <laughs> all you have to do is create an account and you could access thousands or hundreds of sounds. All right, so here, what I'm gonna search for is um, impact. And I'm going to go to, I believe it's page four, hard rubber impact, this one right here. So it sounds like that. So I'm just going to use this one and uh, as this is kind of more of an example, but this works pretty fine. I'm going to click on download MP3 and click on I agree to give my life away. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> The license is fine, guys. All right, and then with that, just go ahead and save it to your folder. Boom, all right, cool. Now going back to Blender, let's go ahead and hit Shift A, add sound, and go ahead and find where your sound is. Hard rubber impact, there it is. And now we got the sound in there. So we want to now uh, synchronize the sound with the cube hitting the floor. However, we cannot hear anything right now. So how do we synchronize it? Very simple. All we have to do, of course it's always simple. All we have to do is go to playback and click on audio scrubbing. Now if we scrub, scrub back and forth, you can see that we have the sound. Also, if we hit Alt A, you can see that it plays the sound. Pretty cool. Now make sure not to scrub on the actual audio or on here because you get some weird glitches. So now just go to where your cube hits the floor or wherever your whatever you're animating where you want the sound to be and just move it to there. You could even use the, the, the arrow keys. You can see it kind of, the sound starts right on the white line and the cube impacts right there. So I'm gonna grab it right there. There we go. And let's put the end frame to frame 40 because that is the end of our animation. All right, cool. So that's how you add sound to your animation. Pretty cool. Now, a couple of things regarding the sound. Uh, obviously, in a more com complex animation, you're going to have a lot more sound files. So, a couple of different things I want to go over just uh, so you have kind of, um, you know, I can't find my word. Where you, so, you have some references for different things you can do. <laughs> so, a couple of things. You can add different, you can have different... Um, different strips over here, different layers of strips. So for example, right here, this is our image strip. This is our sound strip right here. 
But what you could also do is add different layers with different strips on it. For example, if I hit Shift A and go to Sound, I could even go ahead and actually add in uh, the sound of, for example, I could add some music in here. So here I'm just going to load a music file or uh, MP3 file that I have. And now we got some music and the ball impact. So you could have different layers. For example, you could have the music on this layer, the sound effects on this one, the images on this one, and more sound effects higher up. You could have a crazy amount of strips of sound effects here. Now also another thing, when you start to get more complicated with your sounds and there's a lot more sounds going on, it tends to be out of sync. So another option you want to click on is when you go to playback right here, you want to turn on AV sync. And what this will do is it will sync the audio with the animation a lot smoother. Also, a couple of things uh, that I want to show you regarding the sound. If we press the N key to bring up the properties, we have a panel here with different options for our sound. Of course, we have the volume. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I have to, to uh, say anything more on that. But obviously, this is the volume of your sound. We have the pitch, the pan. And then down here, you could trim your... Uh, the sound of your strip over here. So by increasing the start factor, it will inc it will trim the starting time or the starting frame of your sound. And increasing the end factor, it will trim it. It will trim the end of it. You could also just right click the edges and hit G to grab it and trim it this way as well. And same with the front. Now also, a couple other things is you could animate these values over here. So for example, if you want your uh, animation or not your animation, your sound to be basically for the sound of the music to go down as it ends, you could definitely animate that very, very easily. The way you could do that, for example, if you want it to fade out here at the end, and I'm gonna increase this all the way to here, you could then go to the volume and hit the I key and that will insert a keyframe with the volume at one on frame 29. And then if we go to frame 40 over here, we could then put the volume all the way to zero and hit the I key and it will insert a keyframe. And now if we play it, It kind of just fades out from frame 29 to frame 40, as you can see with the value here. So pretty cool. You could you could definitely trim the length of your audio. You could uh, adjust or animate the pitch and the volume and the starting and end frame. So these are just a couple of options that you have here for your sound. So that's pretty much it. And now you're probably asking, how do I render this into an animation with sound? Well, that's the pretty simple part. All you have to do is go over here to the render tab. Make sure your settings are the exact same as the settings that you use to render out your images, which they are right now. And go ahead and click down here and we're going to change it from PNG to X video and select encoding. And we're going to change the codec to, we're actually going to leave it at MPEG-4. I lied. We're not going to change it. We're going to change the format to MPEG-4. And the most important part, because we want sound now to our animation, we're going to change the audio codec to MP3. Now, of course, you have a couple different options that you could play around with here, such as the volume, etc. But for, ex for the most part, you're going to be using these three tabs the most. Now, just select the folder that you want this to be saved in. And for me, it's over here. I'm just going to save it in rendering your animation. And now, all we have to do is go over here and click on animation. And because we have stuff in the video sequence editor, like I said in the previous tutorial, over here in the render tab right here in the, in the post-processing, click the wrong tab in the post processing where well, you can see that we have an option called sequencer enabled. So now we will composite everything that's in the sequencer. So let's go ahead and click on animation and bada boom, bada bing. 
Good to go. And now if we open up our folder over here and check out our animation. You can see we have sound. Uh, how awesome is that? So it's alive. <laughs> so that's a quick little tutorial, or it might have been a little bit long, but I want to show you guys all the different options for adding sound to your animation. So pretty, pretty cool. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. In the next one, I believe I'm going to show you how you can make your own sound effects. Also, another thing that I want to show you just very shortly, and I'm going to go ahead and close that because that's annoying. <laughs> no, I love it. It's not that annoying. Over here with these image strips or these sound strips, I should say, it's the same thing as in the 3D view. You hit G to move it around. You can hit Shift D to copy them, to have multiple sound strips, and you could bring them in as well, just like with the movie, to make it shorter and more precise. And another thing is sometimes if you do that, the sound will be cut off on the sound strip right here. But what you could do is you could play around with the start and the end of it. And you could see that you get different results depending on where the sound for the strip is going to be depending on the length of it. So right here, you will get a different effect. So once again, that's how you add sound to your animations. Pretty cool, and that's how you render it as well. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Ciao for now. Au revoir.